The names of Hispanics who fought in the Revolutionary War, for the most part, have been forgotten to history. But there's one name that lives on, the name of Farragut. There's a Farragut, Iowa, a Farragut, Tennessee, with a Farragut Museum, a Farragut High School in Chicago, another Farragut High School in Rota, Spain, Farragut Housing in Brooklyn, and a Farragut Square in Washington, D.C. So who is this Farragut? Well, first there is Jordi Farragut. He was born on the Spanish island of Menorca and volunteered to fight alongside Americans in the Revolutionary War. His son, David Glasgow Farragut, became a hero in the Civil War. So how did Jordi get from an island in the Mediterranean to volunteer with the South Carolina Navy? Over 100,000 Spanish fought the British during the war under their own flag. The only Spanish person we know who volunteered directly to the Americans was Jordi Farragut Mesquida, better known by his anglicized name, George Farragut. He came from Menorca to the United States in 1772 as a merchant sailor, and he joined the American cause after the war broke out in 1775. A big motivation for Jordi was that his native island of Menorca had been conquered by the British almost 70 years before. Jordi wanted revenge. Jordi would fight the entire length of the Revolutionary War, over seven years. He fought by ship, he fought by foot, and he fought by horseback. He was captured by the British and imprisoned, but still after, re-enlisted to fight some more. He was shot in the arm with a musket, but still did not stop fighting. After the war ended, Spain won back the island of Menorca in the peace. But Jordi decided to stay in his new country. He decided to start a family in the democracy that he helped build. Tragically, Jordi's wife died, leaving him with five young children. He couldn't support them on his own. One day, a naval captain named David Porter visited the Farragots to pay his condolences. David Porter on that day decided to adopt Jordi Farragut's second oldest son, James. He was seven years old. James Farragut would change his name in honor of his new adopted father. And then David Farragut's life began to mirror that of his father. At the age of nine, David Glasgow Farragut began to work on his adopted father's naval ship. Three years later, he fought in the War of 1812. He then started to climb the ranks of the U.S. Navy. At different points in his career, his knowledge of Spanish proved advantageous and helped advance him through the ranks. Finally, in 1861, the Civil War broke out. Even though David Farragut was born in the South and married into a Southern family, he decided, much like his father did, to fight with the Union Navy. The Union Navy was hesitant to trust the Southerner. It was only after his stepbrother vouched for him that David Glasgow Farragut was entrusted to lead a squadron into battle, and he was heroic. David Farragut rose to become one of the most important Union Navy leaders of the Civil War. He's the one who said, damn the torpedoes at the Battle of Mobile Bay, and he became America's first full four-star admiral. David Farragut always clung to his Menorcan roots, and he visited the island twice during his naval career. In 1881, this monument on Fifth Avenue in New York was unveiled. It not only immortalizes David Glasgow Farragut, but it is a groundbreaking piece of art. What makes it unique is that the artist, Augustus St. Gaudines, has David Glasgow Farragut in a natural pose, as opposed to the more stiff and formal statues that were common at the time. This statue made Augustus St. Gaudines famous. He would later go on to make masterpieces like the General Sherman statue in Grand Army Plaza in New York and the Robert Gould Shaw Memorial in Boston. The base of the statue is just as important. It was done by a 28-year-old Stanford White. You could see with the lettering and the curves of the base that it debuts Art Nouveau, which was a new aesthetic in the United States at the time. Stanford White would go on to be one of New York's most influential architects. 
He's most known for the Washington Square Arch at the start of Fifth Avenue and the Prison Ship Martyrs Monument, which we visited in other videos. In 1906, Sanford White was tragically killed two years before the Prison Ship Martyrs Monument was finished. His career, in a sense, is bookended by a monument to the Civil War and a monument to the Revolutionary War. Stanford White's monuments link David Glasgow Farragut the son and Jordi Farragut the father. They celebrate two Hispanic heroes who changed the course of history.